With a coastline as big as ours, it's no wonder recreational fishing is such a massive pastime for West Aussies. Three quarters of a million of us wet a line each year. A popular getaway is to base yourself in Albany for a few days to chase some of our favourite Southern Ocean varieties. First stop though is the tackle shop for an essential piece of kit. Scotty! It's on. How are you mate? How are you? I thought I have a good weather for you. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> for the mysterious art of fishing, nothing Fingers beats crossed. local knowledge. Scott Coglin not only knows these waters well, he's also the editor of Western Angler magazine. It is an amazing spot, the salmon holes. You mentioned salmon, people want to come here and they love fishing here. It is a great spot. It's one of many like this along the coast. It's not long before Scott's showing me how it's done. <laughs> yeah, they got a bit of power, there he goes. So this is the beauty of beach fishing on the south coast. What I'm going to do is walk it up the beach. Mate, that's an absolute <laughs> ripper. Congratulations. Tell us about this fish. It's an Australian salmon. They grow to about eight, nine kilos. Yep. And they're migrating along the south coast at the moment, heading west to spawn. And hey. there's hundreds of thousands of them. How big is this guy? I would say about four kilo. Right. And this so is the average size? This is a pretty average salmon. They get a lot bigger than this. They'll get twice as big as this. That was one beautiful fish, but I didn't catch it. Must keep casting. Scotty, it is beautiful, but it's still the Southern Ocean. We need to respect it, don't we? You absolutely do. It's very unpredictable, the ocean, and the Southern Ocean is a harsh mistress, and if you go in, you're in a lot of trouble. So you always want to put safety first when you're fishing. No fish is worth dying for, or as they also say, don't put your life on the line. Well, it's comfortable fishing on the beach at the moment, but there'll be a lot of people that will be fishing on the rocks, and I did bring the life jackets. You did, and I'm very glad you did. It's good to be prepared. So what we'll do shortly, I'll go and show you exactly how we make sure we're safe when we fish off the rocks. Good idea. Popular fishing spots like Salmon Holes are very cleverly signposted, but no matter where you fish, caution and common sense can be a lifesaver. What we've got here, Todd, at the Salmon Holes is a couple of safety devices that have been installed. One's a life ring, so if someone goes in the water you can roll that down the rocks to them and they can hang on to it till help comes. And the second one is this silent sentry. When you open that up and pull the boys out it actually alerts the police there's an emergency and they'll be on their way here within minutes. Cool. Now these would be lifesavers, wouldn't they? Absolutely, they can be, Todd. They're a reasonably new initiative along the south and west coast and you can tie yourself off with a piece of rope around your waist and no, you're not going to end up in the drink. Well, you can see I've got these Mirage rock hopper boots on, which are specifically built for rock fishing. They've got steel cleats on the bottom, so they stick to the rock, and you won't go sliding off. We've also got these life jackets, PFDs, self-inflating, so if you slip down the rocks and end up in the water, these will inflate. Even if you're knocked unconscious, it will inflate automatically. You'll be kept safe. Loads of fishing shops are getting on board with this great Wreck Fish West initiative. These are loan items that don't need a deposit, so there's no excuse not to fish safely. We'll put all those safety tips on our webpage for you to check out. And in the meantime, keep enjoying our state of Western Australia.